touch your tongue before. But I insisted strongly that he should do it. Eventually, he did. That just to satisfy me. But I felt nothing different. Then I realized that there is no need for a repetition of what he has done before. Then he opened my eyes to see his strength deposited in my two palms. I saw a whitish over light substance in both palms of mine. Then I sang a new song. Okay? And he, the Lord, also sang it with me. Then he ascended even through the song as we were singing the song together. So he ascended and I woke up. Behold, it was a, a revelation, a clear vision of what I saw. That I saw the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords, Jesus Christ, releasing such great anointing upon me. Well, I thought that I call what happened in that uh, in the above narrated testimony as my own ordination into the ministry of our Lord Jesus Christ. For I did not believe there could be any other ordination superior or superseding this one the Lord has done for me. So, thank you, Lord Jesus. So, that's a brief uh, testimony of the advent of the angelic dramatic gift of ministry in the planet Earth. I want to say that since we are, we are rejoicing and celebrating Jesus for the 24th year of Advent, on this planet Earth. Now, we want to discuss quickly uh, the theme of the of the program. And the theme of the program, as you know, is uh, what we call uh, We Are with the Power of Jesus. We Are is the what? The power of uh, Jesus. So, when we say power in the first season, what are we saying? We are talking of quality. The qualities of fire. What makes something to be done? Okay? The quality of what makes something to be done. How we say that? What do we mean when we say the power, where is the power of Jesus Christ? <laughs> A friend, when, when you saw the, 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 the program, you saw the team, you said the power of Jesus is in the soul of man. But if you don't understand the known that point, even though he thought it's uh, so knowledgeable, right? But to that extent, there's no knowledge to carry him about the theme of the program. We are in the power of Jesus. This thing is talking of something challenging. Something challenging. Jesus. So Jesus, we are in some power. And what is it that could challenge Jesus' power? Apart from what? Problems. Human problems. Nothing will challenge Jesus' power except problems. Problem will say, Jesus will say, your power, okay, show us your power, whether we can solve this problem or not. And then what we mean by that team, we are the power of Jesus. Okay, what generated this? The idea came from when Elisha was following Elijah, Elijah, rather, the prophet. And after crossing Jordan, before they crossed Jordan, something happened. Jordan was a problem for them. They have to cross the Jordan. And what happened? Why did they solve the problem? Okay. Elijah took his mantle, struck the water, the water parted. Both of them crossed it, you know, to the other side of Jordan. Now when the Lord took Elijah away from Elisha, it was now he dropped his mantle, part of right, Elijah picked it up. Okay, it was now for Elisha to cross the Jordan back. Now, he did not know what to do, but he remembered what his master did. So he took the mantle of Elijah and he struck the water. And what did he say? We are the power of the Lord God of Elijah. Problem prompted him to say, We are in the power. Of the God of Elijah. And as he did that, the God of Elijah answered him, proved himself to Prim and Genu. And what happened? The, the, the 
Nigerian fashion. And he also did, did what? Cross. In that same progression, the same, in that same line, we are discussing today the theme where is the power of Jesus. We know that Jesus Christ is the Savior of the world. And when you say Jesus, it means that Lord is the salvation. That Lord is salvation. That is what Jesus means. Okay. Where is the power of that salvation? What does the power of salvation? So I want to look into one or two things in relation to uh, his uh, activities in the Jedi Dramatic Jesus ministry. The first thing I want to bring up with eyewitness. When there was a problem, how the power of Jesus to solve that problem in the very dramatic Jesus ministry. On this very Saturday, we used to hold the Adjust program. I was so tired. Even to lift up my hand was not easy. So I needed to rest. Okay? And there was problems that day. And there was a sister that was coming for delivery among others. Sister Charity from Mode for Okay? All right, how would I do it today? Okay, I saw the brother, Brother Patrick Abu, who claimed he has been a minister in Deeper Life for 15 years. I said, okay, since you've been a minister in Deeper Life, you can be a minister today. Just to represent me, just to minister today. Okay, he, has, he, he, he agreed. He got to the program, as he was just about to lay hand on that sister to minister to her, his hand was paralyzed. He ran to come and meet me in the room. He said, Daddy, 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 my hand, my hand, my hand. And what did Father Jesus Christ say? He said, him, stretch for your hand. And he stretched for his hand and his hand was restored immediately. Okay. And I could see that Jesus did that even in Mark 76. He used his power to restore the problem of a man with, with, that, with that hand. Okay. Now, I read from verse. Luke chapter 6. Now it happened on another Sabbath also that he entered and taught. And a man was there whose right hand was withered. So the scribes and the Pharisees watched him closely whether he would heal on the Sabbath that they might find an accusation against him. But he knew their thoughts. And said to the man who had the withered hand, Arise, stand here. And he arose and stood. Then Jesus said to them, I will ask you one thing. Is it lawful on the Sabbath to do good or to do evil, to save life or to destroy? And when he had looked around, and then he said unto the man, Stretch out your hand. Okay? And he did so, and his hand was restored as full as the other, but they were filled with rage and discussed with one another what they might do to Jesus. Jesus did that to that man, and Jesus also made like a lion to do it to confirm that uh, what he did here is true and real. Praise the Lord. And Matthew, this has nothing much to do with fasting after the but has totally got to do with the presence of God. When miracles is about to happen, something must precede it. And what is it? The presence of God must precede it. Without the presence of God, no miracle can be wrought. As Hill says, where God is present, what will happen? Mountains will do up with men like wax. That's one thing I noticed scripturally that Jesus did through his power, to resolve the problem of that man. He also did another thing to me. Many, many things, thousands of years, I cannot remember them, but I'm just taking one or two for you to know, to talk to you what the power of Jesus can do. Okay? Even my own daughter, okay, Mrs. Michael, Mrs. Michael, okay, Neil Emiliano. When he was, she was pregnant for the third time, okay, she was about to deliver, right? All right, but Scott, I mean, Scott revealed that uh, the placenta was before the baby. And that is suggesting CS, quite right. It's an operation. Okay? Her mother, my wife, brought her to Agent program. And then I said, okay, tell her, the daughter to stand before him. 
She stood before the Lord and said, Command. There's some command, okay? The archangel to do what? To put the placenta back to the rightful position. And within 15 minutes, the placenta was replaced to the normal position. Okay? And they thought they'd go and do a scan. They went for a scan immediately, and they saw that the placenta had been replaced, had gone to the right place, and she delivered the baby safely. Praise you, the Lord. This is what the power of Jesus can do. In the journey of the of ministry, angels walk. Nobody touches you, but angels walk in you. Every many pregnant women that have their children cross their womb, who not gate, when they come, they are just asked to ask to stand before the Lord and for me to command Archangel or ask for some to baby. And you will see the baby moving, turning, turning. And you say, you see it. Okay? The, the baby will engage. And they will go and deliver the, and they went and deliver the baby self. Okay? Many, 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 many things the Lord is doing in Nigeria with his might and power. Too easy. No stretch. Okay? It is the Lord's doing. There are many, many we can count. There was a woman that came, okay? She was pregnant, six months pregnancy. That's all right. All right? But the ministry, the minister of the property department, the Lord opened one, one of the, uh, one of the, yes, one of them, and saw that that baby will give them more problems than even the child they brought for, you know, deliverance. What would be what would I do then? The Lord said, My son, command the archangel to remove that baby immediately. And I gave the command, archangel remove the baby. And immediately, a, a, a womb was empty. Like a skirt almost falling down. And I gave the command, I commanded, archangel, bring a child from the soul from heaven, place it by there. And immediately, it happened. I come in, sort of big, bigger, and touching. Praise the Lord. For the amazement of all of us. There. And she gave back to the child with the name Peace. This is that peace. All right? Thank God my wife was there. And to bear with us what I'm saying. What are we saying? For anything to be done, what I am is using is the presence of God. That is the might of angelic, dramatic Jesus ministry. The presence of God. Wherever Adam is, yokes are broken. People are delivered with ease. No stress. Just a command. And when, how do you know a commander in the Lord? Some people wonder when I say, okay, Elijah the is a commander of the Lord's army. They cannot understand. I want to show you today how you know a commander in the Lord's army. If you are a commander in the Lord's army, the Lord will have given you a whistle. Some, 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 some whistle could be, could be wood, wooden, but the one that Lord gave to me was iron. Iron whistle. And when he gave me the reason, I said, Lord, what does this mean? He said, my son, the referee on the football pitch, what do you do to for? He said, they used to direct the game. He said, yes. The whistle you have told that we are commander. We have to command. Praise the Lord. Before I even, before I even saw it in the Bible, he had given me that interpretation of what the whistle is. To command. You don't need, don't just give yourself a title. When God has not given you. If you do, you are just wasting your time. You will not feel well. In whatever ministry you put yourself. Because God has not given you that title. Alright? Then the woman in herself wrote her testimony by herself in a magazine, Testimony Light. Here, there you see her testimony there. Praise God. And how God also healed her, delivered her through temple ministry. I just can read to you anyway, anytime. It's just for me to command in the name of the Lord, and you will receive the miracle. Not by might, not by power, but by my spirit, says the Lord. Who are thou, O great mountain? The portion of that, which has become a flesh. Hallelujah to the Lord. Even those two ministers in the department, in the church, even the resident pastor, okay? Pastor, some of you, all of you, when it was time for God, to open his eyes to be seen to the spiritual realm. What the Lord just made me to do. Okay, that is come. And I laid my hand on his eyes. 
and he started seeing immediately the spirit. He doesn't come from open to the whatever or stand the whatever. Because the presence of the Lord is doing it. Even the Charles of Dinaka, when he came about 10 years or 15 years later, okay, he saw how Pastor was seen into the realm. He said, Daddy, I also like it. You like it? Are you sure? This is how I did it for Solomon. Come, kneel down, and I placed my hand on his heart. He started seeing it again into the spirit realm. It is not by mind. It's not how much you pray. It's what is, it, it means it depends on what God has given you to do. And what God has given you to do, it will be easy for you. Praise the Lord. In the general dimension, Jesus means we deal with your spirit. We deal with your spirit. When you come to what we call Jesus theater in the general Jesus ministry, you can't come to that theater and remain the same and come back the same. Those who have entered who are going to Jesus theater in the general Jesus ministry will be testifying today on their thieves and ingrates. So then they will not testify. What they have enjoyed in Jesus theater. I can say Jesus theater to anywhere you are. I've seen Jesus theater to somebody in the UK and to a miraculous. She fell down for good three hours. When she woke up, she called me. This is what happened to her. I've seen Jesus church to somebody in Canada, and I saw the great miracle it, 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 it did in the life of that woman, and she could become pregnant and have a second child. Her mind was to be scattered because no production. But when the Lord delivered her there, even in Canada, me calling from Nigeria, she gave to conceive and gave back to the only boy now they have in their family. And many, many instances like that. So, item is too real. Some people are foolish to say, uh, where is Jesus? You want to this or that. It's because they don't know Jesus. So, what we say, where is the power of Jesus? All we are saying is, Jesus, this is a problem. Now, bring your power to resolve the problem. Okay? Whatever problem challenging the power of Jesus, once Jesus is there, because the presence of God, the presence of God, presence of God it must do what? That subject for the mobility stop immediately. I say it again, fasting has nothing, official has nothing to do with the power in Niger. It's purely grace. And it's the presence of God that is doing his work. The power is the work. No one that the centurion said, Jesus, all you need to do to solve the problem of this, my servant, is to bring the presence of just bring the presence of God. Just speak the word, and my servant will be healed. But what did Jesus do? He spoke it all. Come on, heal it. There are lots. I've seen people that have faith. They came to enjoy the mission ministry, and that is the two of their problem. You don't know why. So, okay, I can do all right, what you have to do now is give them blood transfusion. That's how you're going to heal them. And how? You are told, raise up your hand like this, your left hand like this. Okay? The evil blood coming out through your left hand, and you receiving from above pure blood. Praise the Lord. And what of them did, not up to 20, 20 minutes, it's okay, you're all right. Go now and then set yourself. They went immediately, they came back, they were declared what? Negative. Negative. Not one, not two, not three, not four, not five. So the power of Jesus can do anything to solve your problem. Provided you believe, you come, maybe you don't come with faith, he will suppress you. When you stand before your administration, he doesn't need to touch you. He said, I'll just say, okay, I just come on, wind blow on you. As we will blow on you, we will blow on him, we will blow on him. As we will blow on you, the power of I am, he, the power of I am, he, we move. And before you know it, you follow that, right? Beep, beep. That was the man brother saw here. He was the first restaurant you had in the church. Then, what happened? It will not wear you. It was a daily regime before. It came to us. It will not wear you at all. Okay? It's not the problem of blood. How did God heal him, Nigel? And I said, okay, not to heal you. All you need to do, you and your wife, just do like this, 
Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Seven times. They fall on the third time, both of them were on the floor. Why? Because in the presence of God, that is working. The anointing of I am He. And that's what many people don't understand because they don't know God yet. Because of the power of God, yes. It's not by man, not by power. We can continue to count and count and count and count. One day I was ministry, one pastor Friday, the same, the same, the last thing. I was holding my jacket like this. I just read, it was a, like six feet to where I was in this room. More. I just read the jacket like this. Then he does him move. The boy knows he was cut out on the other. We are talking of the presence of God, not any other thing. And that is why in the general domestic ministry, all we have is no other than the presence. The altar here is the presence of God. It is named the presence of God. So when you come before him, you are sure of healing. Okay? There are many, many, many things that you enjoy when you come to the journey of Matthew Jesus Christ. I'm not missing words. I'm telling you the reality. I'm telling you about raw, pure, pure miracle. And you see, as terrible as the ministers will be, many, many times we do whatever. After the minister, I enter the room, the boy knows, I'm already doing so this year. It's not that after, after the minister we used to pray, Lord, Lord, the arrows that are coming out of the people, let them go to the abbey. No, no, because it's Jesus that is doing this work. If I do ask, he has cast all the arrows back to us, to the abbey. The just shall live by So when we say, where is the power of Jesus? Problems are what ask such questions from Jesus. Jesus, come and prove yourself if you are able to deal with them. And when Jesus comes, what will happen? That the, the problem of what? must be solved. I pray today that Jesus, the power of Jesus, will solve your problem. Amen. I decree the power of Jesus will settle, will settle the problem of all nations on this planet Earth. Amen. I am calling the presence of God, which is the power of Jesus Christ, to now move to all the nations on this planet Earth and begin to destroy all the problems agitating the life of people in all the nations on this planet Earth. And those that think uh, they, they have power, human power, useless power, right now, I'm asking the power of Jesus, light, that arrested some of Tarsus, and a fire bound, and recognized Jesus as Lord. I send that presence, that light to them, to arrest them now, and let them start confessing Jesus Christ, and then begin to preach Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus. I send the wind called the power of Jesus to move now, to blow all over the planet hard. And let as many as possible be free from the bondage of Satan, from the bondage of sin, and have life instead of death, and have paradise instead of hell in the name of Jesus. And were you hearing me? Right now, for whatever the problem. Hello? Be it that day, so much day, whatever it is, all I need to command is to say, go. So right now I command, whatever the problem you have been nursing for a long time in your life and not resolved, I command that problem to go. Yeah. Go to the abyss yeah. and perish there. Yeah. What I'm saying, there was a woman that was sick, the battle to die. Okay? The church she was attending, they saw that she would die quite all right. So they gave themselves, themselves to fasting and prayer for three days. Could not be resolved. But woman knew she decided to go to church. So she came, sent her soul to come and call me. Okay? Because she was like Lydia. Okay? She was good. So, that 1996, the tragedy happened. That's why right. I ought not to go to anywhere. But I went to the temple of the church. Lord, what do I do? He said, My son, go. What do I do when I get there? He said, God said, Go. And because I've known the power of go. Which is the power of Jesus Christ. Even when my son was our six years old, or five years old, weeping for both of them, they did. And did that, they did. They did. They did. They did. They did. That was the early 80s. The early 80s. Okay, I did. Go. And immediately, what? I did bless you. 
and his power. So because I understood the power of God, when I got to that woman, you know what the problem? She said, Eddie. Look, her husband was standing by, his friend, they had exploited all the power they could to solve the problem. No how. They were just expecting her to breathe at last. To go. I'm talking about Mrs. Ogoledo. Okay? And because Jesus has wanted more to do, and I got the one I said, said, Eddie, okay, Eddie, go. And then they disappear. I don't want to take your hair. She shook her head. She got up. She sat me teeth. I drank before I left her face. That is Praise God. We are talking of the power of Jesus. Okay? When you know the Lord your God, you will be strong. And you will do what? You will do exploit. The problem with some people using magic is because they are yet to know their law. And that is why they are not strong and they do not do exploit. Hello, somebody. The Lord is good. I hear you today. You have a hard walk. And the Lord will prove himself true. The power of Jesus is still ready. It's ever, it's ever more real. So, God bless you. It's well with you. Feel free to come to IDM to get the research ministry. You yeah. never call me on phone and pray for you and the phone is wrong. It will be resolved. I assure you that. I'm not missing work. Yeah. Don't let the power of Jesus I know. God bless you. God bless you to the world. Happy birthday to Jesus Christ. Happy birthday to all Christians. In the mighty name of Jesus, I wish you well. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year in advance. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Amen.